only yeah. show that puts it all on the line to look for the true leader in excavation machinery, the king of the earth mover. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, everyone, thank you for that welcome. That feels good. Mm. Now, as you know, I'm in charge here, and my name is Jeremy. Oh. Give it up. Thank you very much. I'm Ron, and it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Ron. Thank you, thank you. I'm Brian. Yeah. Brian. Yeah. That's uh, right. Brian. All right, so now I assume everyone knows why we're here, right? Yep. Right here is where we put the monsters of construction to the test yep. to find out the greatest of the world's excavators. Yep. Today, we're going to be taking a special look at the 25 and 30 ton classes of excavators. And what <laughs> beast do we have competing for us today? Well, it's a very good question, Ron, I'm going to tell you. In the 25 ton class, we have Doosan and Volvo. In the 30-ton class, we'll have Dusan and Komatsu. So for these, we're going to have a one-to-one -one contest? Yeah. Okay. It should be exciting. And a Mino, El Mino feeling. Who can win or who loses? That's right. Right you are, my friend. Right you are. Yeah. All right, then. Shall we get started? Yeah. yeah. Huh? You ready? Okay. King of oh. the Earth Moves! So, now you're watching the 25-ton excavators, yep. and in their current test, mm. we are testing for both fuel efficiency and work rate simultaneously. Right, right. All right. And the 25-30-ton level tests were held at a rock mine because it's where 25 and 30-ton excavators usually work. Yep, right? right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I have to say, I'm really curious what the results will be here. Well, mm. let's satisfy that curiosity and let the games begin. Oh, it makes it all the more exciting that it's a big one-on-one -on -one match. Doosan Volvo, Volvo Doosan. This is really a battle for pride. Volvo's looking good. Both speed and power are excellent. A velocidade de escavação achei boa. A velocidade, o giro dela razoável, ela 
Gostei também muito da, da visão lateral e da visão frontal da Gabi. A gente enxerga bem para o lado direito, esquerdo e para o lado da frente. pode usar três comandos juntos, senão ela perde muito a produção, né? não dá velocidade. Né? Ela fica andando em cima do carro, né? a esteira não, não, não se para. Né? O joystick achei pesado, achei o um joystick largo, achei que o banco vibra muito. Ele, ele, ele não para, a gente fica sentado no banco, depende do jeito que, que vai trabalhar, se chacoalha para um lado e para o outro. Well, here we go again. Doosan is looking fast and powerful. E na parte externa da máquina, é uma máquina forte, forte de escavação, rápida, boa de estabilidade. Ela é mais rápida e, e mais forte que, que, que a Volvo. Sobre a Dozan 255, um dos pontos negativos que eu achei nessa máquina foi que a gabine mal projetada. Ah, não tem visibilidade para nenhum dos lados, principalmente para a visibilidade para cima, a gente não enxerga muita coisa. Ela acionando todos os comandos ao mesmo tempo, ela não perde força, não perde rapidez. Força de escavação também, excelente. All right, Jeremy. All right, so how was that? I mean, look, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts of the video? Uh, I don't know. It was good, but seeing those machines actually at work right. sure didn't fit my expectations. So I'm a little embarrassed. I guess in words, I'm surprised. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Will you please stop it? Well, anyway, where was that truck going at the end of the video? You want to find out? Yeah. yeah. Well, then let's see if we can track it down. It's beaten Volvo. I've really got nothing to say anymore. <laughs> Shall we go ahead and start the 30-ton test? Well, if they win that here again, what are we going to do? Huh? They're really going to end up being the best of the best. Yeah, yeah, you know, I actually, I couldn't put it better myself. I mean, this really could be the origin of a new best of the best. Yep. What do you think, guys? Yeah. 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 This makes me just as nervous as any sport I've watched recently. Yeah, in the end, who will be left fighting? Can Dawson pull up another victory?
pega bem o material, mas quando puxa os três comandos e quando vai girar, ela já perde um pouco de, 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 de velocidade. Nossa, esse joystick até parece que eu estou puxando a pata de um elefante de tão pesado, né? Banquinho, até que é macio. Que chacoalha, porque nem uma montanha russa essa Gabi, se não fosse o banco o cara tava morto O equipamento com bastante força para a escavação, ela é bem combinada, né? combina bem os três movimentos, né? tem bastante força. É, freio do giro, um freio excelente, ela para uh, super bem. Muito bom, joystick bom. Maciozinho, muito leve joystick. Visão, cabine, é a melhor. Cabine é a melhor da categoria. Olha só, enxergo pra tudo que é lado. Muito boa a Gavine, viu? Recomendo. All right, so we've checked both 25 and 30 ton classes with fair and balanced testing. Shall we take another look at the results? I can't believe it. You know, it really is surprising. And looking at it. Even though 25 tons and 30 ton machines are different equipment, 25 ton Dawson, when compared with a 30 ton Komatsu, <laughs> still completes in terms of work rate. Yeah. If there's a difference in tonnage, obviously there should be a difference in work rate. Yeah, you would think that. Mm. Just think about it. In this case, why would you even buy or consider to buy a 30 ton expensive machine? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. So. We've compared the 25-ton Doosan and, and the Volvo models, mm. as well as the 30-ton Doosan and the Kamatsu models. And the judge puts it, Doosan's the winner of both. Yeah. Yay, yeah, 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 come on, come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Feels good, that feels good. I mean, wow, Doosan really proved itself to be the undisputed king of the earth yeah. movers. I cannot agree more. Mm. And you've gained a sense and understanding of excavators. That's great. I'm sure that in the past some of you have selected excavators based on brand names or stereotypes. We hope that this was a chance to use our test as a basis mm -hmm. to create a new method for deciding what really is a good excavator. Yeah! yeah. yeah. All right. So thank you guys. We'll see you next time. Awesome. Woohoo! Ha ha ha!